Welcome back. Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner and today Josh and I will attempt to make our very own piñatas and this is an easy task that you can do at home with your family in preparation for Cinco de Mayo this coming Sunday. You can definitely use common household items for this but today <laughs> Fernanda and I are using tissue paper, cardboard box, cereal boxes, scissors, tape and glue. Yes, so the key word here is we are going to attempt to make these piñatas. Yeah. Neither you so, and I are very crafty. Right. But so the last time we did a DIY project, I had my finger burned. Remember <laughs> that? So I'm hoping things turn out a little bit better. I've been up, like I said, all night. Yes. I'm not going to be Careful in charge with those scissors, of the scissors. Please. Okay, so what we want to do is, our producer kind of put us halfway through here because we're not very handy, but we do need to cut out what? We either have a sombrero <laughs> or a taco. <laughs> yeah. And for this exercise, I believe we have chosen taco. Yes, definitely the taco. Okay, so we need to print out the taco. So juice it from your computer, print it out in the size that you want it, right? right? And then what you want to do is you want to trace it onto your cardboard box, which is what we did right there. But we've already done that. And we've already done that. I believe that's why there's a the Sharpie magic here, of TV. right? Yes. So, so you trace it. Yes, very good. Boom. And then what do you want to do? You want to cut it. It was perfect. That took two seconds. <laughs> Then you want to cut it. Here you go, my friend. Here's the scissors. Alrighty. I'm so not actually going to cut it, am I? No. It's already cut. Is it? Yeah. It's right oh, yeah, right there. Very good. All okay, right. so then wait. So, <laughs> boom. I'm good at this. <laughs> so then we have our cutout taco right here. It doesn't look like much right now, mm -hmm. but it's going to be so cute. Okay, then what you want to do is cut out these strips of cardboard which is what's going to be the outside of your piñata so you can hold the front and the back together. Does that make sense? Right I, hope I, I hope we're making sense yeah. here. Okay, so, so you have your taco shape here. Yes. And then you have your cardboard cut out and then you're just going to tape it on there. Yes. So now you have basically the basket for the piñata, I guess. Yep. Well, is that what you would call it? The little piñata basket. Sure. Yep. Then the best part is we're putting the candy in there, right? Yep, go ahead. So, so Josh can't have the chocolate, but you know, we luckily, got your heads. Luckily. Lucky for us. I brought this is my the own most candy. important part of your piñata. Don't forget to put candy in there. Otherwise, it won't be very fun. Make sure I get everything. Okay. All right. So while we get put the candy in there, we want to make sure that we have our tissue paper cut out like this, which is going to be the decoration for the piñata. Right. And actually, if when we were going through this beforehand, this is maybe the toughest part. Yes, it was the toughest part. So you have your tissue paper like mm -hmm. that, and we're just going to fold it over one time. Yes. And then once again. And then once again. So we're just making a square. You're going to take that bottom edge. So what? Are we doing it right? You're just cutting it right there. Okay. No, nope, I'm right there. Okay, there we go. Are you sure we're doing this correctly? 100%. 98.5. <laughs> 98, 98 I love how confident you are in this. This is why I need you on my team. There it is. Are you sure this is how you do it? Yeah. Okay. And then you just cut over the top of it right there. Oh, gosh. All right. You get the idea. Okay. Yep. Good enough. All right, so once you have your tissue paper, we have to put the rest of our piñata here. So we got to close the piñata. I need mm -hmm. your help here, Josh. Yep. Let this hold that for me. Okay. You know, we're not very crafty. Not at all. But we're getting we're getting there. But we're very confident, and that's all you need sometimes. We're just confidence. Yes. Okay. So once that's on there, well, let me secure the bottom first. I'll just hold it. Hold it for me. Okay. So we're going to do this. You can actually make the piñata with nothing but tissue paper, which would be super cute, but um, we're not that good. Yeah, no. We're so running out of time here, too, but where does the tissue paper go? At the bottom here. Goes on the bottom? Yes. And then we're going to tape that on there. We need to finish this piñata. Okay. So you're going to tape the bottom of the tissue paper to your piñata. And then we're going to put the taco on top. Where's the taco, Josh? Right there. Just enough time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just enough time. Look at this. There's your piñata. Hang it up and break it open. No, we don't have a string and we don't have, you need a broomstick. Yeah. True, if you're a true piñata Something to get the candy out lover, of there. You need a broomstick and a, and a string. That's it? Yeah. You guys should break it at the end of the show. So that's a very easy, this is a very quick way to make a piñata. <laughs> it's obviously not yeah, very secure. Yeah, taped on there. <laughs> It's taped on it's well enough. Good. It's pretty good. I can't get the candy out. And there out. you go. We got we got candy out. Yep. Very good, Josh. All right. Well, Done. There you go. Stay with us. We're headed to the kitchen after the break, and we've got margaritas. Stay with us.